Hi guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and watching. So exactly how much do you think we can get for $141 at a local mom and pop supermarket? Well, let's find out. Here's a look at what I picked up at a local food market. I wasn't able to get into the bigger towns today, so I just decided to hit up one that is about 20 minutes away. It's a little more on the pricey side, that's for sure, but let's just top in into this haul. I have several things that I'm gonna be making this week, and I needed some broccoli, so I picked up this nice looking broccoli crown. I also needed fruit. I always need fruit, so I got some blueberries. A thing of raspberries and some strawberries and had to pick up some beverages because the big Michigan Michigan State game is this evening so got some of this Alaskan amber this is something that is really yummy actually it's a darker beer but it's really good and then for if I decide I'm not in the mood for beer I got the Mama Mamitas, which are just like a lime margarita. So I'm going to partake in that. It'll be fun. I am also going to be making some chili and I'm going to be making a pretty big batch of it. As you can tell, I ended up getting four cans of the diced um, tomatoes two of them are chili style and two of them are green chili style so get a little spice in there but got four cans of those four cans of chili beans and six cans of tomato sauce and also to go into my chili I got three jalapeno peppers and then I also picked up some ground beef for this wonderful chili that I'm gonna make. This is gonna be so good. I haven't made chili in a little while, so I'm pretty excited. Needed a nice size onion for the chili, so I picked up this nice sweet onion. Also got some bananas to make smoothies. This nice long English cucumber. And believe it or not, last week, or last time I went shopping, I ended up buying like two pounds of cheese. And for whatever reason, my family already went through it. So I need to just stock up on cheese again. I guess we're just like going through cheese really quick. So these were on sale. They were two for five, I do believe. So I got a pepper jack, a medium cheddar, a New York sharp cheddar, extra sharp cheddar, and two of the marble jack cheese. And then I also got a thing of the sweet cream butter was out of almost out of sticks of butter so I needed some more of that and this was on special and I normally don't see nice flank steaks so I decided to grab this because well it looked good and I want to do a chimichurri flank steak on the grill so this is gonna be yummy and I also got some of these homemade brats that have peppers and onions in them. They should be really good. Gonna pop those on the grill and enjoy those for the big game this evening. And to go with my chili that I'm gonna make, I got some French bread. To go with the sausage that I picked up, or the brats that I picked up, I got these pierogies. They're potato, cheddar, cheese, and bacon. Yum, love pierogies. Of course, you can't have chili without your saltine crackers. I think that's just a crime, so I had to pick up some saltine crackers. And I could not make up my mind on what creamer that I felt more in the mood for this coming week. So I got one of the caramel macchiato and one of the cinnamon dolce latte. So I should be good on creamer for a little while. Needed some eggs. We've been going through eggs pretty quick, too. Also picked up some heavy whipping cream for a recipe later on in the week. And for a sweet treat, I picked up two. These were on sale too. These were two for seven. So I got a thing of the caramel caribou and brown cow. So we got ice cream 
for a little while this week. And then just for that crunchy, snacky, whatever, I got some of the baked lays and then I picked up some of the cheddar and sour cream ruffles. And there you have it. The grand total that I ended up spending on this haul was $141.27. A little bit more expensive than I would have spent at like Walmart or Aldi, but it was a little more convenient. I didn't have to drive way out of my way, so it was worth it. Okay guys, that was my local stock up grocery haul for this week. Um, it was definitely a little bit more expensive than I would have paid if I would have gone into the bigger cities, but I'm okay with that. It was definitely about convenience this week. I didn't want to spend hours in the car driving. So convenience it is. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If grocery hauls are your thing, I will leave a playlist linked up above that you should check out. I've got lots of grocery hauls for you to check out there. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel because that would be amazing. And as always, I hope you all have a fabulous week. Go blue and I will see you next time.